Hi there and welcome to SEMC. My name is Gary and I'm one of the pastors here. We welcome you to this fireside video that we hope will be an opportunity to keep you informed and up to date with what's happening here at SEMC. We also invite you to check out our website at semconline.com. So about that orange, as you are all most likely painfully aware, our COVID status has changed to orange, which means some changes for us here at SEMC. We will continue two worship services here in our facility on Sunday morning at 9 and 11. We will ask that you wear masks when you are inside the facility, when you go to and when you exit the sanctuary. Uh, we also have Kids Church that has been running. However, on-site Kids Church will be postponed for the time being. Laura Kaler, our Director of Children's Ministry, will send an email out to parents each week to give you some content and information about Kids Church. We also invite you to check out the children's page on our website. Likewise, Youth Ministry is going online, as Jason says. Uh, on-site attendance will be postponed for the time being, but Jason has sent out email messages to junior and senior youth, and so we invite you to check into that and also check out the youth page on our website as well. Thursday morning prayer teams, we're so thankful for you. This week, on-site uh, prayer teams have been postponed. Uh, we will be sending an email to you with prayer requests, as well as some questions that we ask that you reply to so that we can look at some creative ways of getting together for prayer during this time. Meetings in our facilities have been postponed for the time being, such as the committee meetings, life groups, mission sisters, and so on. This really does feel like a time when we both gather and scatter. It reminds me a lot of the early church as described in Acts 1.8 and then 8.1. In Acts 1.8, Jesus said, You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, and to the outermost parts of the earth. But then the church for a while tended to gather. They were local and so on until persecution really began uh, to hit them hard. And we read in Acts 1, it was at that point that the church truly did scatter. Now, we are not facing persecution, but we are facing adversity. And so we desire to gather together. And we also know that we grow through adversity and that we will grow to be more Christ-like and what it means to be church, especially in this time. And then we also recognize that church is distributed, it is diverse, and it is going into the neighborhoods and communities where we live. We want to invite you as you do that. At this time, really make an effort, if you can, to contact someone, uh, communicate, use our pictorial uh, address book to connect with someone. As Paul writes in 1 Thessalonians 5.11, encourage one another and build each other up just as you are already doing. And Pastor Garth tells me that there's a lot of wonderful things that you are doing as a congregation to support and encourage one another. And we know that Spiritual Life and Care Team is doing the same. One last note, this Sunday is a special Remembrance Day communion service. We invite you to prepare for that by preparing your elements in advance if you are live streaming or to bring them with you if you are attending here in person. And if you forget, we have elements available for you here that we will present to you in a careful context. Blessings to you.